Welcome to another Linux Hub Overview. Today we will be taking a look at Ubuntu Studio 22.10. Ubuntu Studio comes with the KDE desktop environment and a bunch of software dedicated to audio, video, and photography. So let's dive in and start it off by installing Ubuntu Studio onto a virtual drive. We will be installing the system using the Calamari's installer. Calamari's is a fast and easy Linux installer. On most Linux distros you are notified on first boot to update your system. It's good practice to do this and keep your system updated. While it may ask you to restart your system after updating, it is not required. Let's move along while updates are being performed and start checking out our newly installed system. Here you can find all of your system's installed applications. You can also find your system settings, session, and other tools. The majority, if not all Linux distros, come with some sort of menu or search menu option to launch your application or tools. Here we have launched the system settings tool for KDE, let's use it to customize our look and feel to our desired need.
I'm also going to change the app menu and bring the panel to the bottom. That's the way I like it so that's how I'm setting it up. You can leave it at the top or place it anywhere you desire. The beauty of Linux is the options. VLC is a multimedia viewer found on most Linux systems. You can use it to open audio, video, stream links and many more. XJDO is a software video player that displays a video clip in sync with an external time source. Alisa is a music player developed by the KDE community that strives to be simple and nice to use. We also have LibreOffice pre-installed. Discover is the package manager developed by the KDE community. Muon is another package manager. It is very similar to the Synaptic package manager. Console is the terminal emulator on KDE desktops. Here let's use it to take a look at HTOP and NeoFetch. Majority of Linux distros come with a system monitor to view system resources. This is where Ubuntu Studio gets its name. From the vast amount of audio, video, and graphic software it is pre-installed. I won't go through all of them, but we will take a look at a few. Hydrogen is an open source drum machine. Its main goal is to provide professional yet simple and intuitive pattern based drum programming.
LMMS is a digital audio workstation application program. It allows music to be produced by arranging samples, synthesizing sounds, playing on a MIDI keyboard, and combining the features of trackers and sequencers. Giankic is a synthesizer that can synthesize elements of percussion. The most basic examples are kicks, snares, hit hats, shakers, claps. QTractor is an audio MIDI multi-track sequencer application written in C++ with the QT framework. Krita is a free and open source raster graphics editor designed primarily for digital art and 2D animation. Synfig Studio is a free and open source vector based 2D animation software. Darktable is a free and open source photography application program. Rather than being a raster graphics editor like Adobe Photoshop or GIMP, it comprises a subset of image editing operations specifically aimed at non-destructive raw image post-production. Blender is the free and open source 3D creation suite. It supports the entirety of the 3D pipeline, modeling, rigging, animation, simulation, rendering, compositing and motion tracking, even video editing and game creation. KDEN Live is a free and open source video editing software based on the MLT framework, KDE and QT. Free Show, a free and open source presenter built on Electron for anyone to use with ease. Thanks for watching this overview on Ubuntu Studio 22.10. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you on the next one. And I'm out.